Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway and Dascar All Speed's coverage of the Dascar Phillips Nationwide All Star Race. Tonight, it's 20 laps, three segments, 20 laps each here at the Beast of the Southeast Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's go down trackside to meet. The lineup for tonight's running of the Dascar Phillips Nationwide All-Star Race. Let's go trackside with our PA announcer. Let's go trackside, ladies and gentlemen. Driver alert of the number six, discount tire Ford. Inga Wamliana. Driver of number five, GoDaddy.com, Chevy, the Daytona champion, Drew Austin. Driver of number ten, CampingWorld.com, Ford. Number 10, making his first All-Star race, Blake Wetfoot House Shield. Driver of the number 16, City Financial Ford Fusion. She is a Wheeland Modified Race winner, Sona Course. Driver of number 18, Interstate Batteries, Toyota Camry, a recent winner this season, Austin Ogo! Driver of number 20, GameStop, Toyota Camry, making his first All-Star race, Chris! Heavy Duty Washer! Driver of number 23, uh, Chevy, making his first All Star race in season one, Joshua One Lab Michael! Driver of the number 27, Kleenex, Ford Fusion, a Daytona champion, and a two-time All-Star, Zachary Red Robinson! Driver of the number 60, Scott, Ford Fusion, making his first All-Star race, Pichu London! Driver of number 62, TND, Chevy SS, the NASCAR International, Tom Tom International Terminator Series President, Joseph Tornesto. Driver of number 88, GoDaddy.com Chevy, making his second appearance in the All Star race. He's the NASCAR President, John Papercut. Cianino. Driver of the number of the number ninety-nine, Aaron's Dream Machine, the NASCAR organization president, Robert P. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your fan vote winner, presented by Nationwide, here, presented by Nationwide Insurance. Get to a better state 
State Farm, and Nationwide Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a three-time winner in the NASCAR Field Nationwide Series, making her first All-Star race driver of the number 38, Great Clips, Toyota Camry, and the Greg! Ladies and gentlemen, your lineup for the NASCAR Phyllis Nationwide All-Star Race. Welcome back to Fox Sports of uh, Dascar on Speed's coverage of the fourth annual Dascar Field Station All Star Race here from Charlotte Motor Speedway. The drivers are ready and they have been introduced. The grid is set and we're ready. Starting grid is rolling. And on the pole here for segment one is John Cena Dino here in car 88. Three segments make up today. Tonight's Running of the Phillips Nationwide All-Star Race, anyone's going to try to win all three segments and go home with the $2 million. The first two segments are just warm-ups, then the real segment, segment three, is the money one. Pace cars off, John Cedino will lead him down to the start of the first segment here in the Das Car Nationwide All-Star Race. Green flags in the air, we're underway for segment one. John C. Dino, no wins so far in Season 4. He's been wrecked multiple times in Season 3. And his rival in this race, John C. Dino, let's see what, what happens with John, with John C. Dino and Joseph Ernesto uh, out on the track together. They come off turn number 4. Who's going to lead the first lap of segment number 1? It's going to be... Let's see who led it. It was John Cena Dino by a margin of nothing. On board with him, there's Joshua Michaels being pushed by Inga Lamoyan in car number six. Joshua Michaels making his first appearance in the All-Star race in season number one. Robert Pierre has Anna Gregg, your fan vote winner, Anna Gregg, uh, out in front. Here comes Joshua Michaels uh, in car 23 to the inside line, pushing Anna Gregg to the line. It's going to be a hard-fought segment after segment after segment here in the fourth annual Dascar Phillips Nationwide All-Star Race. Your Fox Sports 1 standings on the screen. And a Greg there in car 38. Here comes Joshua Michaels, car 23 on the inside, being pushed by Inga Lomeliana in car number 6. There's Blake Houshio in car number 10, the first-time All-Star, making his All-Star debut here tonight. Joshua Michaels, I think he'll go, I think he led that. I think he did, and he did by two one thousandths of a second. Now Inga Lamoyan is going to inherit the lead, and this is a NASCAR All-Star double header here tonight, folks. Robert Piet, the president of NASCAR, going to have his All-Star race here at Charlotte later on tonight. At the conclusion of. Our All-Star Race here in the Nationwide Series, it'll be Robert Piet's turn to take his All-Star field out on the track for their running of the first ever Phillips Cup Series All-Star Race. Ingle Amaliana brushes against the wall. Up there in turn number two, Blake Halshield and Sona Course, Joshua Michaels, Robert Piet are these front four. Then here comes uh, Austin Ogo. And Chris Washer in car number 20, right behind his teammate Austin Ogo and Robert Piet. Uh, uh, Chris Washer, being a NASCAR president, he locked into his first All-Star race. As you ride on board, Robert Piet. There's uh, Joshua Michaels in the Mahendra Racing Chevy. Going towards the front is this 23 car, Joshua Michaels, who hasn't led a lap since season one. Daytona opener for the Phillips Nationwide Series Season 1 and Robert Piet he is a three-time winner a uh, four-time uh, four-time winner in the series a two-time champion defending champion of the Nationwide Series and he's looking to win this all-star race from segment one you don't have to win segment one or two but the third and final segment 
is the money one, and you have to win that one if you want two million dollars and, and a reserve spot in the chase. A lot is at a lot is at stake, and a Greg appears to be off the pace. So there's trouble for the 38 of Banner Greg. Trouble for Zachary Robinson. He's lost the draft here to this front uh, to this front pack. There's Blake House Shield in car number 10. Here comes John Cinadino and Joseph Ernesto. Oh boy, rivals out on the track. Remember this race last season, uh, Joseph Ernesto and John Cinadino went at it in this race uh, last season. But working as very good competitors on the racetrack, don't have to worry about them. Hopefully, on board of uh, Joseph Ernesto here in car 62. There's uh, John Tiradino in car 88. Here comes Inga Lamiana back on uh, back on Joseph Ernesto now. Let's see who's gonna. Let's see if this front pack can maintain. We're caution free through the first segment, first of three here in the fourth angle of Dascar Phillips Nationwide All Star Race. Here comes Feature London, and he locked in at uh, Kentucky, winning the winning that race. Now let's see if this front pack can maintain position and not wreck. I'm surprised they haven't wrecked yet, because when you come to Charlotte, when you're running this close together, especially at Charlotte, a wreck is almost imminent. Now let's see Blake House Shield starting to starting to come back in the picture. Robert Piet and Sonicor is battling on the racetrack for the lead. And Robert Pia being pushed by his teammate Austin Ogo. Austin Ogo has his teammate Blake, Blake House Shield behind him. Chris Washer down to the low side now. Joshua Michaels in this front pack. About nine laps to go here from Charlotte in segment one of three. From the blimp looking over the field at Charlotte. This front pack... Starting to get a little bigger now. Here comes Chris Washer in car number 20 back on them now. Robert Piet from onboard. There's Sona Course in car 16. She locked into today's uh, tonight's all-star race. And the 18 of Austin Ogle led that lap. Now here comes Blake House. She'll back on Austin Ogo in car number 10. And pushed up to the high side. Here comes Drew Austin. A four-time winner and a, and a Daytona champion this season. Oh, this is not going to play out very good. This is not going to play out very good. Pretty aggressive contact. And here we go! A big crash. Someone up against the wall. Chris Washer is involved. Inga Lomayana, Pichu Lona, Zachary Robinson, Joseph Ernesto are involved. There's Joshua Michaels as well. First caution here in segment one. And we will get a replay. Let's get a replay. Let's see. This thought this happens in, when they were going four wide. Four wide never works. And Chris Washer was forced below the white line by by Joshua Michaels. And Joshua Michaels is going to get turned. Go into the grass. But Chris Washer gets the worst of this when he gets the safer barrier. Bounces right off of it. And slams the wall hard on the outside. So a multi-car crash here in the first segment of the All-Star Race sees Chris Washer going to a backup car for segment two. Let's get back to the restart. Welcome back. It's going to be Drew Austin, Blake Houseshield, John Cena Dino, Austin Ogo, Robert Piet, Joshua Michaels, Joseph Ernesto, P2 London, Chris Washer and Jackie Robinson running at your top 10. Then it's Inga Lomeliana, Stoner Course, and Anna Gregg. So a lot of people will go to backup cars here for segment 2 of the All-Star Race at the, at the conclusion of segment 1. Drew Austin looking to win segment 1 and get ever so closer to $2 million and a reserve spot in the chase. He's up there in points, though, so if he falls down in points, this will really help him. Drew Austin will have three laps to go when the green flag flies. And the green flag's in the air. We're back underway in segment one. Let's see what happens. 
a slow pack back there. Those were the cars that were involved in the wreck. Joshua Michael somehow was able to keep pace with this lead pack. And here comes John C. Dino on his teammates. John C. Dino going to go to the inside. Help from Austin Ogo. Austin Ogo right behind him. Now he's going to go to the inside. They're making contact again. Here we go. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Anyone's going to try to win this all-star race. Austin Ogo so far out in front. They will come up on the white flag next time by. Austin Ogo in the turn number three. Here we go. The battle for segment one supremacy. The white flag is out one more time around Charlotte. Here comes Joseph Ernesto on car 62. He's going to look to take the win. He's going to look to take the win in segment one. Half a lap to go down the backstretch. Here he comes. Here comes Ernesto. Look at the inside. Help from Piet. Now Piet's going to make it a three wide. Resemblance of season one, but who's going to take it home? Whoo! Too close to call. Too close to Austin Ogo by a margin of one one thousandth of a second. Unbelievable. Austin Ogo wins segment one, and we are going to get a replay to make this official. Unofficial standings. She's... Austin will go the winner, but we will get a replay to see who the real winner is. Let's take a look. Let's see. This is a resemblance of season one. And Austin Ogo so far has the lead, and he will. And it's official. Austin Ogo is the winner. Just look at that finish. Look at that finish. That's incredible. Incredible. Just like season number one. We'll be right back to segment two of the All-Star Race in just a moment. Welcome back. Segment two of the All-Star Race. Set to get underway. Petrie London has to pull for this one. A lot of people are in backup cars for segment number two of the all-star race that were involved in a wreck back in segment one. So segment two set to get underway here. Set to get underway, pays cars off. And we will get the start of segment two. P2 London will lead them across the line. Segment two is underway. And how about a little crank it up, ladies and gentlemen? Crank that speaker up. How about that for a little crank it up style in the All-Star Race? John C. Nadino was involved in a wreck back in segment... No, he wasn't involved in a wreck. He was almost involved in a wreck back in segment one. Let's see what happens. Is Robert P. Etz going to take the lead here in here in segment two of three in the All-Star Race? And a Greg in a backup car trying to win segment two in a backup. Remember, she was involved in that first crash in segment number one, but managed to get a top ten finish out of it. And here we go. This is not going to play out good. This is looking like segment one. This is looking like segment one, but they managed to keep it straight. Somehow, they managed to keep it straight. They were going three wide for about two seconds there. They almost wrecked. Here comes Sona Course in car 16. She wasn't involved in that wreck. No, she was involved in the wreck. So she's in a backup car. 
Each driver gets three backup cars just in case they wreck. Sonic Rush from on board. Inga Lamaniana, the front runner. Now Inga Lamaniana is going to go to. Uh oh, here we go again. Here we go, three wide. Here we go again. This time it's Joseph Vanesto. Joseph Vanesto, he's the only car involved. Joseph Vanesto spins it. I think he had help. Caution's out. Let's get a replay. And this happens with Chris Washer, Joseph Vanesto, and Robert Piet. Chris Washer gonna get the left sides on the white line. That's not what we want to do. And Robert Piet smacks out Safer Bear pretty hard. But the worst of it goes to Joseph Vanesto here. He goes sliding. Jossie the Dino gets by. And Joseph Vanesto adds to Robert Piet's wrecked race car. So they will go to backup cars for the final segment. Segment number three. Let's get back to the restart fear for segment two. And welcome back. It's going to be Sona Course, Drew Austin, Inga Lomliana, Anna Gregg, Chris Washer, Blake Houseshield, Austin Ogo, Joshua Michaels, John C. Dino, and Zachary Robinson, your top 10. That is P2 London, Robert Piet, and Joseph Vanessa rounding out your All Star race field. Fox Force 1 standing, still no cars off the track. Everyone is still running, even though a couple people are in backup cars from the segment one wreck. And Robert Piet, Joseph Vanesto, they will go to backup cars to start the third and final segments. Sona Course, on the other hand, in car 16, her backup car seems to be going fast here. Because she will lead the field down to start to the restart here for segment two. And we're green back underway here in segment two. Now let's see if Sona Course can have anything on this field. She is a Dascar Wheel and Modified uh, race winner back at Dascar Motorsports Park um, in, in, in Dutchland. That is the home track for Sona Course, so she got a win under her belt back at her home track. So and here comes Inga Lamliana back on the inside. Drew Austin, car number five. Teammates on the racetrack, but they're battling for all-star race supremacy when they come to the third and final segment A lot is at stake here. You don't have to win segment one and two segment three if you want the two million dollars and a reserve spot in the chase You will have to win segment number three For now, it's just having a little a little bit of fun with your teammates and your uh, and your race competitors here on the racetrack all-star race, and it's fine. So far, we had one photo finish. Are we going to see it again? Remember, back in the all-star race past seasons, we had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, uh, photo finishes in each all-star race. So, with segment two and three coming up, we might see a drag race again. Anna Gregg being pushed by her teammate, Austin Ogo, your winner from segment one. Now, let's see who's going to lead this one. It will be Anna Gregg by at least half a car length. Or six one thousandths of a second on the racetrack. Now, it'll be John C. Ladino coming up the inside. Here we go. A little bit of a drag race. Lap 12 of 20. So, this will be the final few laps when we come back to the line. Little contact. And they keep it. They keep it straight. Although they make contact. So most people are, are, are going to go home with a couple of donuts on their on their cars. Austin Ogle scraping up against the wall. Austin Ogle scrapes up against the wall. Here comes Blake Housey in a car number 10. Being pushed by his teammate Chris Washer in car number 20. He's going to get kicked up to the outside line. And managed to keep it three wide, and how Shield led that lap by two one thousandths of a second. Here comes Chris Washer on, and Drew Austin back to the front. Austin will go in the back of the pack. There's Joseph Vanessa and Robert Piet just now coming up with turn number two. They will go to backup cars at the end of this race and start segment number three. Drew Austin in car number 5 had an unprecedented first half to the season. 
four wins, the trifecta, and the point lead. He won Daytona, he won Zenjoltis, he won Bristol, he won Spa. He is he is really on a march to his first ever championship this season. And Inga Lomeliana, she's no stranger to victory lane. She went to victory lane two times and we got trouble. That's Joshua Michaels in car 23. Caution out. No, it's not. Unreal. No yellow. Thank you, Dascar, for not throwing that caution. Because we want to see a green flag finish. And here comes Inga Lomeliana back, in, back, on, back on the front run. Car number 6. Dascar did not throw that caution. That is unbelievable. Because Joshua Michaels went head first into the wall. Think he think he had a little help. Joshua Michaels there. He will go to a backup car again to start segment number three. Here we go. Three wide battle for the lead with four to go. Side by side. Side by side. Oh, contact. And saves it. All-star race at its finest so far with three laps to go. John C. Ladino saved his car from utter disaster. Now the only now the only uh, battle is here is for the race lead and for the win. Blake Halshield about a car length behind him. Coming out of turn number four, they will see two laps to go this time. And Austin Ogle wants to go back to back. And Win segment two, but segment three is the race you want to win. It's the segment you want to win, I should say. The segment you want to win is the final one, and we will come at segment three in just about one and a half laps. Austin Elgo will come out of turn number four, and he will have one more time to win back-to-back -back segments. White flag for Austin Elgo. Now, Blake Halshield, will he back off and let his teammate take this win? Will 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 he hold off, I think? Yeah, he, he's holding off. About a half a lap to go. And it will be Austin Ogo. Blake Halshield letting his teammate take home the victory here. Coming in at turn number four. Back-to-back -back wins for Austin Ogo. Segment one and two are, are in the books. Segment three is coming up. This is the one you want to win. Two million dollars and a reserve spot in the chase are on the line. The final segment is going to get underway when we come back. Don't go away, folks. Segment 3 is coming up. Welcome back. Day. Just a Dascar Phillips Nationwide All-Star Race. The final segment here in... The fourth annual Dascar Phillips Nationwide All-Star Race. Inga Lomeliana has this pole. A lot of people are in backup cars. Robert Piet, Joseph Anesto, John C. Dodino, and Joshua Michaels are in backup cars. Here we go. The final segment. Two million dollars and the reserve spot in the chase are on the line. Green flags in the air and we're green for the final segment. Immediately following this All-Star Race will be the Phillips Cup All-Star Race. Robert Piet is going to host that one, and it should be a dandy. It should be a dandy. A Dascar, a Dascar All-Star double header here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. P2 London on the inside, going underneath her t his teammate, Inga Lomliana, in car number six. Now, P2 London, he was... Close to being involved in two wrecks. But here in segment number three, where everything is on the line, I think we'll see more chaotic racing. Austin, I'm going to go back there. He won two out of the three segments. Here comes Anna Gregg in car 38. She was involved in the first wreck. Now, going to get kicked up to the outside line. But Anna Gregg is going to hold on and lead here at Charlotte. Your fan vote winner... Anna Gregg in car 38 led that one. 
Now here comes Sonar Course on on her on her uh on her competitor Robert Piet Car 99. They used to be teammates back in the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. Here comes Joshua Michaels back on the charge in his backup car. So his backup car looks to be tuned to a primary car, but it's gonna be a long one here. 20 laps for the final segment. 40 laps are complete out of 60. Here we go, three wide. This is looking like segment one and two, although I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Sonar Course gets pushed up into the wall. And John C. Dino held on and let it. Unbelievable. Now here comes Austin Ogo in car 18 on his teammate Robert Piet in car 99. But 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 teammates are throwing out the window on this one, because because if you want to if you want to win that cool two million dollars and have that and have that reserved spot in the chase, you're gonna have to get it done here right now. This is anyone's chance who's not up there in points to automatically be in the chase no matter where they are in points. And here comes Pichu London in car number 60. He wants that reserve spot in the chase if he's not up there in points. And contact up against the wall. Here we go again! It's a huge one! Austin Ogo got airborne. He slams the wall. Drew Austin's involved. Joshua Michaels, Jackie Robinson are in it. Oh, that was a huge crash for Austin Ogle. He got airborne. Not surprised he didn't go over. First caution is get a replay here. A very huge crash on the front stretch. This is going to look like uh, season two here at Charlotte. Watch, watch Austin Ogle get lofted into the air. Look at that. Rough flaps come up, keep the car on the ground. And it was a drag race to the line for the lead, but P2 London had it. Now we're gonna take some onboards. Our first onboard is gonna be jo is gonna be John C. Dino here in car 88. Watch him pick his way through this wreck. Man, Austin Ogle almost blew over. Thank God for those rough laps. Let's go on board Robert Piet. Bird's eye view of this one. Thank God for those rough laps. Let's get back to the restart here in second three. Welcome back. It's gonna be P2 London, Blake House Shield, Chris Washer, and a Greg Robert Piet. Joseph Benesto, Stone of Course, John C. Dino, Drew Austin, Inga Lomley on her top 10, Joshua Michaels, Zachary Robinson, and Austin Ogle round out your race field here at Charlotte. Coming to 10 laps to go here in the final segment, segment number 3. Everyone is going to be racing for $2 million and a reserve spot in this season's chase for the NASCAR Phillips Championship. Ten laps away. Who will take it home? Green flags in the air. P2 London stands on the gas. We're back on their way. Now P2 London. He's up there in points, but if he falls in points, he will not make the chase unless he wins this all-star race. Ten Laps of racing to go here from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Anyone's going to try to win this one. Here comes Blake House here on car number 10. Here comes Anna Greg, car 38. Chris Watcher, car number 20 back on them. Now, I think it's going to be between House Shield, London, Greg, and Ernesto. I think, unless something happens out of this pack and someone makes a huge charge to win this race. Ingalamaliano starting to make some noise. There's your segment one and two winner way back there. Austin Ogre there in car 18. Here comes Anna Gregg. 
she wants this two million dollars and that reserve spot in the chase still got a long way to go lap 13 of 20 here comes Joseph Ernesto here comes Sonar Course John C. Dino back on the lead pack now their backup cars they didn't wreck so they're in their backup cars here we go three wide and Ernesto is gonna scoot away Joseph Ernesto hanging on by a thread three wide behind them that's what he wants to see and Anna Gregg scraping up against the wall gonna fall way back there's Joshua Michaels he was involved in that wreck as well Inga Lomliana trying to get a run coming out of turn number four Joseph Ernesto will have six laps to go here in the final segment two million dollars and the reserve spot in the chase is on the line who's gonna win it six laps to go now Inga Lumliana she's up there in points but she has to win to have a reserve spot in the chase if she falls in points she will have five laps to go to get this race won three wide behind him sees Chris Washer on the inside that's what Ingham wants to see Joseph Vanessa scrapes, scrapes up against the wall he had contact with John Cittadino John Cittadino pushed him up against the wall and forced Joseph Vanessa to fall way back and out of contention to win this all-star race Inga Lomliana four laps away from two million dollars and a reserve spot in the chase can she hang on if Inga Lomliana takes this win this will be her first all-star race win Chris Washer coming back on Chris Washer on the attack now they fall single file gonna try to run her down if Inga Lomliana wins it this will be her first all-star race win three laps to go here in the final segment it's anybody's game now here comes P2 London back on her teammate as well two and a half laps to go down the back stretch P2 London gonna try and hold off Blake how she how she was gonna go on the inside no I'm gonna fall back in line now two laps to go Ingalom Leona two laps away can she hang on here comes Blake how she car number 10 side by side that's what Inga wants to see now Inga Lomliana is gonna come out of turn number four and face the white flag can she hang on to the lead here comes P2 London white flag is out one more time will Inga hang on or will London win this race London so far has the advantage half a lap to go down the back stretch P2 London out in front no one's gonna put up a fight and P2 London is gonna win two million dollars out of reserves by the chase P2 London comes out victorious in the all-star race his first all-star race and he wins it congratulations to everybody in this all-star race top 10 up on the screen but it's P2 London taking home the two million dollars and that reserve spot in the chase and that will do it for us here on Dascar on speed we'll now send you back track side for the Phillips Cup all-star race good night everybody